that vast expanse of rich country west of the Mississippi to the Pacific, the American Indian ruled supreme, that is, until the coming of the white man. They came in wagons and on foot with all their worldly possessions. These people, the pioneers of our golden west, time and distance were so great as they plodded on to their destination that often with the dawn came the cry of new life. As each day neared the end, there were many tired and toil-worn feet. The circle camp was set up for the coming night in hope of rest and protection from the dangers that lurked in this new land, so far from the home they had left behind. All this happened before the eyes of the red man. The American Indian saw a new people entering the lands he had known as his own. Some were friendly, some were hostile, and some moved on. Another morning, each day brought new hardships and toil, a burden that would have crushed weaker spirits. But for some, there was no morning. Their journey ended before their destination was reached. All who ventured west encountered the hazards of sickness, violence, hunger, and thirst. Only the stronger, with saddened hearts, moved on. Others perished, leaving no history of their passing. The only evidence of their fate is what the buzzards left. As the West developed, the cavalry often came to the rescue of the distressed, restoring peace where there was neither law nor order. Soldiers and scouts such as Daniel Boone, Lewis and Clark, Pike, Crockett, Fremont, Kid Carson, Custer. These men made the journey of our pioneers less hazardous. The trailblazers of the West were these pioneers that helped make our country what it is today. Farmers, traders, trappers, craftsmen, missionaries, soldiers and scouts. Men and women who dreamed of a better world in which to live. The scouts protected the migration of livestock where it was most needed. A friend both to the white man and Indian, one of the foremost scouts was William Cody, better known as Buffalo Bill. That gummit, Bill, I'm telling you for the last time, the first chance I get, I'm through. I'm through, I tell you. There's your chance, Cactus. Oh, now, Bill, don't be too hasty. Besides, I don't think that wagon train's going in my direction. Direction or no direction, you still make a good nursemaid to a cat. Yeah. Well, Bill, I didn't mind fighting engines with you. I didn't mind crossing the Great Divide. But when it comes to being nursemaid to a durned orphan calf, I'm going to draw the line. Maybe you look like the motherly type. <laughs> hey, you forgot the purpose. Oh, Bill. Look, Indian. We're going to attack the wagon train. Let's get to our horses.
What is it? Females, nothing but females. This must be a Marion thing. No doubt about you. Critter as big as you couldn't be a woman. <laughs> oh, you think I am too big, Ma? What do you want? Skin and bone? <laughs> you are nothing but a skinny man. Oh, you What a man. That woman is a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Bryan in charge of the post at Fort Randall. I guess you're wondering about a little masquerade. The settlers here about look to us for protection. There have been four wagon train attacks in the past two weeks. We thought we'd give those Sioux something that looked like easy picking. Lieutenant, the Sioux have signed a peace treaty with us. I was there when White Cloud and the other chiefs agreed to the truth. Yes, I know, but you can see how they keep their treaty. I don't know. There's something strange about this attack. What do you mean? Look out there. Notice anything? There are no dead or wounded Indians. In all my years as an Indian fighter, I've never seen redskins pick up their wounded and dead. Neither have I. Sir, we're ready to move. Fine. We'd be proud to have you accompany us to uh, Fort Randall. Well, thanks, Lieutenant, but we have a herd of cattle to deliver to White Cloud and his tribe. Cattle for White Cloud? You see, the treaty calls for the government to deliver these cattle to the Indians. That means trouble. Oh, what do you mean? You'll have to drive them through Fort Randall. Folks there feel that the Sioux should be run out of this country, not fed. Until I receive orders to the contrary, White Cloud gets these cattle. I'll see you in town, Lieutenant. Jackus, come on. That was a trap down there. I thought you know what you were doing. I had it straight on the other wagon trains. Do you think if I knew they were dressed up like women, I'd stick my neck out? You're supposed to know. That's why I'm paying you. Who were those men that rode in to help the wagon? I recognize one of them. Buffalo Bill. He's bringing in the treaty cattle. If he ever gets them to White Cloud, we'll never get the Indians off the land. You want me and the boys to stop them? I've got a better idea. Where's Running Deer? He left with the other Indians right after the attack. The good citizens won't like the idea of cattle being given to Indians who are massacring wagon trains. As soon as you men finish dressing, get into town and spread the news. You 
folks are going to have to move aside. I've got a herd of cattle coming through. You're mistaken, Mr. Buffalo Bill. You're not going to deliver any cattle to those bloodthirsty Indians. Go back and tell the boys to stop the herd. I'm sorry to disagree with you, ma'am, but it's my job to see that our treaty with White Cloud is fulfilled. Well, then why doesn't White Cloud live up to it? His Indians have been attacking white men. Only last week, my father was wounded and barely got away with his life. There's no proof there were White Cloud's braves. Our father's wounds are proof enough. Anybody can tell they were Sioux. I've never seen Sioux fight the way they did today. It's just not Indian style. Now, please clear the way. Those cattle have to go through. You'll have to go through these first. Everybody disperse. Go about your business. You forget, Blake, this town is under martial law. Martial law? All you and your fancy blue legs have done is ride around and look pretty. That burying detail for Corporal Small this morning didn't look so pretty. Further bloodshed won't solve any problems. We'll reach a peaceful decision. All right, Lieutenant. We know you've got a job to do, but if your method fails, we'll try ours. I know you've got your orders, Bill. But there's no denying the fact that you trust these redskins a lot more than I do. I know them a lot better than you do. That's true. But I can't sit idly by while attacks happen every day. Before you take any action, Lieutenant, let me go and see White Cloud. If I find the Sioux really is causing this trouble, I'm with you all the way. All right. That's fair enough. Let the cattle stay here until you prove that the Sioux are innocent. All right. We'll bed the cattle down outside of town. You give them back my stone. Get out of here, kid. What's going on here? You take my yellow stone. I want them back. You got that stone? No, I threw it away a long time ago. Hey, Cactus, let me have your harmonica. Uh -huh. Come on. Pin feathers. How would you like this? Hey, that's my harmonica, Bill. <laughs> me no like. What'd you expect uh -huh. to come out, Yankee Doodle? Okay, Bill, you and Cactus can get cleaned up with the post. Thanks, Lieutenant. Janice. I have nothing further to say to you, as long as you're in that uniform. I can't understand you. When we first became engaged, you were proud of my uniform. That was before I learned the full meanings of the word Army One. I don't want to sit home each time you go out and patrol and wonder whether or not you're coming back alive. But I'm a soldier my job. Father offered you a job as wagon master last month, but you had to rejoin the cavalry, just exactly like Corporal Small. Did you see his widow this morning? I did. I had to break the news to her. Can't you just picture somebody breaking the news to me about you? Goodbye, Lieutenant. Buffalo Bill and that partner of his get the White Cloud, they may learn that Yellowstone is gold. I don't see how. Even the Sioux don't know that there's gold on their land. They don't know now, but if that treaty's fulfilled, sooner or later somebody's going to find out. I think we better talk to Running Deer. You contact him and meet me at the hideout. Yeah. Two birds with one stone. And not yellow either. 
If Buffalo Bill and Cactus are ambushed for Redskins, it proves to the people here in town that the only good Indians are dead Indians. We're good grub. I'll saddle the horses while you finish eating, Cactus. I'll help you, Bill. You eat them who playful grub. Well, to tell you the truth, my boy, I seldom eat very much. I never could stand my own cooking. But when I run on the vittles like this, I just can't stop. A gal that could cook like this, I'd marry her in a minute. I go get them. But wait a minute. You mean to say the gal that cooked this food ain't married yet? No, but she want him, husband. Oh, she does, huh? Well, son, is, is she pretty? Pretty? You know, is, is she uh, nice looking? Nice looking is the worst. What's that mean? Eyes that shine like stars. Oh, eyes that shine like stars. Pats and Hota. What's Pats and Hota? Skin like frosted honey. Ooh, skin like frosted honey. <laughs> Kunta, Seta. There you go again. Now, what does that mean? Lips like a crushed strawberry. Crushed strawberries? Why, she sounds good enough to eat. Why don't you go fetch her, son? You fetch him. Well, we should be back in a couple of days. You want some of my troopers to go with you? No, I'll just take cactus with me. Well, I'm sorry, Bill, but you'll have to go alone. What do you mean? I'm fixing to marry and settle down. Oh, eyes that shine like stars. Skin like frosted honey. And lips that... You like my cooking, no? You're cooking? See, kids ever say you like marry with me. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> yes, you said good. I make a good wife. You settle down. I have many muchachos. Uh, well, I'll tell you the truth, ma'am. I'm just a little young to settle down. Uh, hey, Bill. What are we waiting for? Don't we have to go see White Cloud? <laughs> <laughs> He probably won't stop running till he reaches Ogallala Springs. Oh. Good luck, Bill. Maria. See? Him come back. You catch me yet. My stomach. Oh, see? Oh, bueno. We were to meet again at the sign of the full moon. Why do you send for running deer today? This couldn't wait. All right, speak. There's a herd of treaty cattle outside of Fort Randall. They're to be given to your people if White Cloud can prove that the Sioux haven't been attacking wagon trains. Who goes to White Cloud for this proof? Buffalo Bill. I know him. The white man who brought the promised paper to the Sioux. Mm -hmm. And if he don't reach White Cloud with that paper, it'll be worthless. Hurt you too. sending up some folk signals to White Cloud to sort of let him know we're coming. You know, I'm not anxious for these trigger-happy Indians to see us and figure we're sneaking up on them. All right, Jack, this will make you feel better. Well, the way I figure it is, it's sort of polite to knock before entering, especially when you don't know how you're going to be received. You better get some brush.
sure hope all them braves know how to read this smoke talk. There it is. White Cloud welcomes us and knows we're coming. Now, Bill, are you sure that's what they said? That's what they said, Jacket. Well, I ain't had no learning, but when the smoke all clears away, and maybe your scalp with it, there ain't gonna be no right and left to prove that they said welcome. Bunch of thieving polecats. Blake was right. You can't trust the varmints, Bill. Two arrow, all right. There aren't too many. Just a few. Hey, Bill, you better count again. Oh, to think I could have got married and settled down. Well, so long, Bill. It's been good to know you. I don't understand it. White Cloud has never broken his word before. Come on. like our welcome team is leaving us, Bill. That's why he caught himself. Bring back the faceless one. My scalp feels a lot better. Looks like you'll have plenty of time to settle down now, Cactus. Yeah, it sure does. What? Me settle down? Oh, no, Bill. <laughs> Greetings, White Cloud. White Cloud greets his brothers. Your smoke talk welcomed us. Yet we are attacked by his two. The ones who attacked you have lost faith with us. Return to the teepee of the Sioux in peace, my brothers. Lead on. White Cloud. Yet the Indians have been attacking white man's wagon train. White Cloud gives word. His braves not paint faces since he placed mark on promised paper. Where cattle? The people at Fort Randall do not know White Cloud. They have asked me to get proof that it were not the Sioux. White men at Fort Randall fear a shadow. Three before you and others like them broke my word. You take them to your people. They have broken White Cloud's word. Let them face White Cloud's justice. In the teepees of your fathers, they will be wailing for the dead tonight. White Cloud beats the drums of death too soon. Every Sioux brave has the right to speak. Be 
before the mantle of death covers you. Speak so all may hear. I am not a coyote who cries when he is trapped. I will not speak with my hands bound. Give them their hands. Why do my people turn their face from me? I am not their enemy. There is the enemy. His people have driven the buffalo away. And now he comes with white man's cattle to soften the belly of the Sioux and take away the strength of our hearts. The world of the buffalo is gone. We have fought the white man long enough. The war path is not our answer. We are not squaws. This is the land of the Sioux. Our fathers and their fathers' fathers fought for it long before the white man came. It is better that we die on the war path than sit here like squaws begging for food. We are not beggars. The white man came to us with farmer's papers and asked for peace. He who eats of the white man's meat becomes his dog. As long as breath runs in my body, I shall fight the white man. If there are other braves among you who wish to fight with me, I welcome you. If there are none, I'll fight alone. Your days of fighting are finished, running deer. You have broken my word, and you must die. Running deer is a warrior. It is not fitting that he be put to death. I ask that he be permitted to live. I will not owe my life to a white man. I know your code, Running Deer. Fight for your life. not owe my life to a white man. You are a brave warrior, Running Deer. I will not take your life. Strike! Strike! Beat the drums of death!
with a great peacemaker's back, scalp and all. Keep quiet, Stokey. We've been waiting for you to get back. You see White Cloud? Yes. I'm absolutely certain he had no hand in attacking the wagon train. That's interesting. Have you got any proof? Well, the fact that we're here speaks for itself. Then you had no trouble seeing White Cloud. None at all. The two are living up to their end of the treaty. With ours. The Indian who shot that arrow is dead. Condemned by his own tribe for violating the treaty. With running deer. White Cloud's own son. I'm delivering the cattle in the morning. Well, it looks like we're going to have peace at last. I think this calls for a celebration. And everybody, bring your women, folks. What are we celebrating? Losing that gold? Losing some cattle. been waiting for. Janet is going to sing about her bow and herself on the old panhandle trail. Hooray!
up your troops, we should be able to move the cattle faster. White Cloud... White Cloud can wait. I think there's more pressing business at hand. What did you say, Bill? Come on, Lieutenant. Walter, a pretty young lady like you shouldn't be sitting alone. Well, will you join me, Mr. Cody? Thanks, but How about Lieutenant Bryant? He's available. It's no use, George. We've been all through this before. But, Janet, your objections are no longer valid. The Indians are peaceful. But for how long? Until the next outbreak? No, George. I won't marry a soldier. You'd make a beautiful officer's wife. There'll be some tracks further on. I'll take this body back to the post, Bill. All right, Lieutenant. Sergeant, help me with this body. Those cattle can be anywhere. Maybe there'll be some tracks further on. Right here. I'll get a telegram off to Washington to send some more cattle. You find the cattle? There you trace. What's Bill figure on doing? He's sending a telegram, trying to get more cattle. How long do you think it'll take for him to get here? Oh, I don't know. It took Bill and me four weeks. Well, there's no telling what'll happen now. White Cloud! White Cloud is coming! <laughs> White Cloud is coming, folks! White Cloud! Get in here! Keep your eye on the crowd. Don't let anyone shoot. We greet you in peace, old red brother. Why does your lance split the earth in anger? White Cloud place is mark on promise paper of great white father. For many moons we live in peace. But white man left his promise on paper. I have come to keep the promises. For five moons we wait. Buffalo now gone. Grass brown. My people starve. You not speak with two tongues before. You come. But we not see cattle. They are gone, White Cloud. In the night, they ran to the four winds. I have asked the singing wire to tell the great White Father about this. Do not eat words. 
Our children cry. Brave go lean. We not wait much longer. When third son hides face behind mountain and you not bring cattle, I take back my mark from promised paper. If this happens, White Cloud, much blood will be spilled. It will be blood of white man. My braves will ride with spirit of my son running deer. We will drive white man from our land. We will burn his houses. And dust will cover the white man's sign. You must give me time, White Cloud. Another herd of cattle will be here soon. You must not take back your mark from the paper of promise. Remove the lance, old brother, and let the earth show no sign. This is my word. When first star shines at end of third sun, and my people still hungry, the Sioux will ride. I, White Cloud, have spoken. may yet cost us our lives. What do you suggest we do? There's only one thing we can do. Fill our end of the treaty. What do you got on your mind, Bill? That buffalo herd we saw four days ago. We can get wagons from Walker. If we're lucky, we can bring back plenty of buffalo meat. Come on, Cactus. the men together. We're going to play Indian again. Still hungry, Bill. Think I'll get some more grub. Got to put some fat on me, you know. Maria said I was all skin and bones. You're so sweet on Marie, eh? Oh, Bill. <laughs> Pin Feather, what are you doing here? Meet him, Grub. Well, I can see that. She ain't here, is she? No, she's sending me to check him up on you. Well, the next time you see her, you tell her I already checked him down on her. I'm going to get some more grub. White Cloud until the next herd of cattle get here. Well, where are you figuring on making camp, Bill? We're not stopping. We may be too late as it is. Get the horses. Up you go, Pin Feathers.
Take away, Joe. Disappeared in a hurry. You sure that was a Sioux? They are the hoof prints. It wasn't a Sioux cactus. It was a white man. Indians don't chew their horses. What do you suppose white men would be posing as Indians for? I don't know, cactus. But the Indians who attacked Lieutenant Bryan's wagon train certainly didn't act like Indians. Let's get out of here. My word, when first star shines at end of third sun, and my people still hungry, the Sioux will rise. Tell the tribes of our nation White Cloud summons them. Let our brothers know White Cloud's lance has split the earth. He has taken back his mark from promised paper from this I'm on. Sue and white men are no longer at peace. Bill, that's only when they're on the war path. Sun has gone down three times. White Cloud usually keeps his word. We better look through his pockets. There might be some identification. Him Yellowstone. Same as Stokey cake for me. Are you sure? Sure me sure. Me find him in Ogallala Canyon. Well, that's only a few miles from White Cloud's camp. Stokey and Blake. Did Stokey know where you found the Yellowstone? Sure, me tell him, but he no give him back the stone. There's your answer for the Indian masquerade. Gold. See that this man is buried. Tell Simpkins to locate Lieutenant Bryan and his patrol. I'm going to see White Cloud. My 
Keep moving. Cover up my mustache. The buffalo wagons are on their way back. Where'd you leave them? Over in the Staked Plains. They ought to be at Rimrock Canyon in 24 hours. Good, we'll meet them there. Come on, let's hurry. White Cloud. The killer of Buffalo, not welcome in land of the Sioux. I come in peace to counsel with White Cloud. There is no peace. Your long hair will hang in my teepee. I am a blood brother to the Sioux. I have the right to speak. You cover yourself with mantle of our law. You shall speak as did running deer. You will be punished as the Sioux, not white man. My heart is not afraid of White Cloud's justice. He is bitter because his people go hungry. From beyond those hills, I am bringing six wagons filled with buffalo meat. Once you said you were bringing cattle. We never see them. Evil white men stampeded the cattle because they wanted the Sioux driven from their land. All white men are enemies. No, White Cloud. Only those who have learned there is much gold on your land. We never see it. The sun has gone down twice since the Sioux caught a white man and punished him with a dragging death. That is so. I took this from his body. The Sioux does not scar the earth for gold. The white man Blake wants this gold. His men dress as Sioux to attack the wagons. I have seen the tracks of one who watched us. If they attack and stop us from bringing you the buffalo meat, no man will trust White Cloud. The great white father will send an army of blue shirts to drive the Sioux from his land forever. If this is so, why isn't this man punished? A white man law protects him until we can prove his evil. White man's law is nothing to the Sioux. Give us Blake. I'm sure Blake and his men will attack the wagon. White Cloud and his braves can move like shadows. We need but few. Your skin still white. Your wagon may be jaws of a trap. I have spoken. Lower drum of death. Kotechne. I not return. Let earth run red with white man's blood. I... Ah! Well, Bill, I see you still got your scalp. Does that mean white cloud's going to help us? I don't know, Cactus. We just have to keep our powder dry. be here by now. Make sure you get them all. I don't want any witnesses.
Here they come. Get them all.
William Cody, this honor belongs to you. My brother, once more, we bring forth the promised paper. It is good. From this time on, the lands of White Cloud shall never split the earth in anger. The Sioux and white man shall live in peace. Wish you could stay for the wedding, Bill. Sorry, I can't, Lieutenant. But orders are orders. Cactus! My little one, maybe now you settle down. No, no. Cactus, we're ready to go. Hey, Bill, wait for me. Are you afraid you're going to be back for a long time? 